my sincere and heartfelt <laughs> apologies to all of you beautiful, stupid babies on Patreon. What happened? It was supposed to be a watch along. Oh, gotcha. <laughs> yeah. My yeah. bad. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Hey, welcome back to your stupid Rex. I'm Corbin. I'm Rick. You can follow us on Instagram, Twitter, for more juicy content. Thank you for support Patreon. Follow us to the account. Subscribe, like button. Would have been a great watch along. And uh, today we're doing a movie review. Thanks to this. Hold on. I should have had this set up. Yeah, that's all right. We'll Book wait. <laughs> or Marajan. Yeah, I need Molly Allen ones in there because um, it's Molly Allen. But yeah, hey, we're doing a movie review of the 2023 film. But that just dropped on OTTs. Correct. Kathal, the core. Yes. Which means Mamudi. Yes. The core. Yes. I think. Yeah, I think so. It's actually his new physical fitness program where he's doing a lot of planks. <laughs> Stupid. Uh, <laughs> uh, obviously, this just came out last year. Um, it's uh, directed by Geo Baby, who is the director of Great Indian the Kitchen. The Great. The Great Indian Kitchen. Yep. Um, and, uh, and some other things produced by Mamudi, starring yep. Mamudi and... And Jyotika. Uh, uh, Forgive yeah. me if I've mispronounced that. And, uh, and a few other people. Um, but uh, those are your your two main leads here. Yep. Uh, we wanted to watch this uh, when we saw the trailer of it. Uh, yeah. And we did not get it. Not uncommon for Malayalam films. We actually currently do not have showtimes for Captain Miller, Merry Christmas, or Anyan. <laughs> <clears throat> yet we will see tomorrow tomorrow will be the deciding yeah, factor wednesday, if we actually see it wednesday is the day where the theaters have to decide what they're doing for the weekend so and so but we did not get this at all we barely got the lgp film from last year it, yeah in uh, one theater right in, in one theater yeah and it was uh about 80 something kilometers which in, in LA is in, like in LA time, and a half, two that's hour drive. five sometimes you have to take a tent with you and camp out on the way True. Yeah. Uh, anyways, but uh, we originally, because after we did the 12th Veil uh, watch along, um, patrons specifically, we're like, oh, we would love some more elevator bars. Um, yeah, I'm so sorry. And uh, originally we were going to do a review of this. And then after the 12th Veil, I told Rick, don't do it. We're going to do watch along. He's old. He forgets stuff. No, here's, He's here's what happened. He's senile, everybody. <laughs> he had originally sent me a link because we were just going to review that's it. That's what I just said. And then I Therefore, told you, don't. And he, yeah, probably was I was walking out the door and talking to his kids. <laughs> that was it was right there, and, and and so I just being on top of things. I remember seeing the link, and so I just I anyways, I watched it's, it. At it's home. fine. Originally we were gonna review. <laughs> at least it anyway. we watched it, anyways. But uh, we finally got to it because it finally got on uh, Amazon Prime. If you haven't seen it, please go watch it. Um, since it is a smaller one and not everybody's seen it, we will start with non spoilers. Yeah, we should just because it is still new to OTTs and it probably did not get a wide distribution, especially out of Kerala. Yeah. Um, so, uh, but if you can watch it, it's on Amazon right now, you can go watch it right now. Yeah. Uh, but Rick, your initial non spoiler thoughts of Cathar. I had started, cool. I had started writing a paragraph, which that'll tell you all you need to know. Um, because if I write a paragraph about something, it means I, it's, it's, it's more than just whether you should see it or skip it. The, what I, what I started to write down after watching it was why films like this in 12th fail weren't at the top of the list of Oscar submissions for India. This is, one definitely couldn't have been. Ma why? I think it came out in late November. It would still qualify as long as it's in November. No, late November, like the 30th. Well, if. Because I it, thought the, the thing was at the end of October. The the submission list for the foreign films is end of October. Well, correct? irrespective, then it should be at the top of the list for next year. Yeah. I thought it didn't qualify. Okay, maybe. But you guys let me know. Um, it's also maddening to know that there aren't at least as many people clamoring to see films of this caliber as they do to go see commercial successes yeah, yeah. that you know the list. Uh, but I guess it shouldn't surprise me because elevative quality far too often is ignored by the masses. It takes more time and effort to find and appreciate the facets of a diamond than it does to skip stones. And more people have fun skipping stones than actually looking for the diamonds. Th this this was – I would have been – if this would have been really uh, – this would have been a game changer again for my list of the dummies. This movie is beautiful. 
immaculate. I want to show it to everybody. Yeah. I, uh, I would have had a hard time in the dummies specifically yeah. picking between this 12th fail and um, the Mahmoudi's other film of the year. Yeah. Uh, talk about the year of uh, Shah Rukh Khan. It was the year of Mahmoudi. Uh, <laughs> I, I, anybody. This is one of those things like when I was watching the Globes and they were there was a, the, the category and it'll be this way for the SAGs and the Oscars. Specifically, the leading ladies. It's it's I give the edge very clearly to Emma Stone. But every woman performance that I see nominated, it's, yeah, you should get it. Yeah, you should get it. Yeah, you should get it. And that's how I feel about the, the LJP's film, mm -hmm. Twelfth Fail, and this one. They just are equally wonderful in all the right ways. And this one hit me in the feels. This one, mm -hmm. just like Twelfth Fail, I was crying at the end of it. Um, I can't wait to watch it with other people. I have nothing but superlatives to say about this film. This film is as good as movie making gets it's just yeah. fantastic i um i love this movie i and so important yeah so freaking important and i when i was watching it i was like oh. i don't even know if you could qualify this as an lgbtq film it's more just a story that happens to have a lgbtq character at the forefront i don't know if you could qualify it as an lgbtq film what are the qualifications of that i don't no, specifically. Yeah, That's and what I, I'm talking about. Um, and I honestly love and look forward to the day. I said this watching the Globes when so many different people of different, you know, we had a Native American. We yeah, had yeah. eight. I, I turned to Indrani and I said, I'm looking forward to the day when we are so past the first whatever. Yeah, yeah, exactly. And we get rid of all of the labels and just talk about the yeah. fact that this is a human, That's what this a felt human like, story. That's what this felt like. It's just like. a human story. This director, he put out a... One of the best films uh, we've seen on the channel in, in Great Indian Great Kitchen. Great Indian Kitchen. That was a phenomenal film. Um, and then comes... So I, I want to see everything this director does because he he knows how to take a well-crafted, nuanced sto human story and make it so intimate but so beautiful to watch. I know you haven't seen the, some of the films I'm about to reference, but they're part of the conversation right now and will be for the SAG Awards and the Oscars. Mm -hmm. Past Lives. Yeah, I want to see that one. Anatomy of a Fall. Yeah, yeah. I'm for that one Those films are just like this in the fact that they are human, slow, dialogue and silence driven. Oh, especially Moody. He barely has yes, a dialogue, man. Where you, the director and the cast and everybody is not interested in any way, shape. This is not about in any way, shape, or form, doing something that's to, to be performative or entertaining. We're doing our utmost best to make you feel like you're watching potentially a documentary because it's so intimate and so real, and everyone is so believable, and more is said with nothing. It, it, it's just, this is, I mean, we're talking about some of the best films in the world right now. This is one of the best films, as was 12 Fail, in the world right now. If I say this all the time with certain films. I think I said it with Great Indian Kitchen. If this was a Hollywood film, it would be nominated for Best Picture. It would have nominations all over the place. Um, I think this would have a great shot at foreign film if it qualifies. 100%. Or it lash... Because uh, I don't even understand because the, I think it was... Was it Pebble or was it the the cinema, the, the one about cinema? That was technically not of that year. It actually came out the year prior, but they let it go through. Because of covid yeah. Okay. Yeah. So that might it was be like, why. it was COVID exceptions. That might be why. Um, but it's one. It's the style that Oscars likes. It, that's the subject. I don't want to give anything away. If you haven't seen this film, film please just don't please just go in blind. Watch it. Um, and just let the story happen to you. Um, let's see. If please watch it. Okay. It doesn't really give anything. It's away. on Amazon, by the way. It doesn't really give anything away in the synopsis on. Um, uh, I do be so. That's yeah, good. just go in, go in. and the trailer did a great it didn't job give, uh, away. of not giving anything away. Yeah, the um, everything about it, the performances were great. Before we get into spoilers, uh, just for you guys who haven't seen it, it was such a nuanced story that I'd so interested because I said right after I watched it, I tweeted, I was like, okay, every industry is great, every industry makes shit. Say that off the bat. But Malayala, man, they make such great content-driven films so frequently. <laughs> and the qualities of what we constantly refer to is yeah. when something's elevated and it's reached the, 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 
the the categorization of being something of fine artistry, yeah. Malayalam is the most consistent in that regard. Yes, um, not saying they're the best. No, and it's not saying. that other industries don't don't do that as well. There's a consistency yeah. with which, and the quality of this film that would garner the attention of the Academy here, which is important for a million reasons, guys. It's not just because we have this hang up with American cinema. And we don't need to defend that. If you don't understand it, then there's, you don't understand it. But when you look at the films that have historically been selected as the international films and the films that get international distribution, the films that are celebrated at film festivals all over the world, irrespective of country, it's this kind of film, same with 12th Fail, mm -hmm. that have all of the technical aspects of elevative artistry and fine artistry, right? But the subject matter has has several factors. It's important. Yeah. It's absolutely DNA of the country it's from. Yeah. And it's also absolutely DNA of universal truths that everyone can relate to. Boom. Yeah. You you <laughs> if if this was qualifying for this past year, you had two that you easily could have sent. Easily could have sent and either if one of more, them. Yeah, you could, you could have, have done the L, three. The, LG, you know, the other Mamoudi But I well. think these two. These two are more accessible. More for accessibility. Not, for people that aren't as familiar with Indian cinema. Correct. Though that film I think is equally as brilliant uh, as these, if not even more complex. It's just um, disappointing because the films that are being appreciated right now, like Past Lives and Anatomy of a Fall, are these quiet, yeah. small, conversation-driven, drama-driven just letting you watch human beings be human. It's, it's such a great. It's such a beautiful story too. It's a tragic, beautiful story, but they don't make it as tragic. Like they don't focus on the tragedy of it no. as much, uh, which is something that I think like if it was done here, you'd, you'd have a little more of that. Um, because it's very it, it's a bittersweet, culture, obviously. Um, but like they make you totally understand every single character. You make you like, oh, that's awful. Oh, that's awful. You oh, believe them? Oh my God. What? No, it, so it's... As it goes on, it, it and all it does take you on a journey as well. Um, it like doesn't give you it right away. It, it lets you like, okay, what, no. what exactly is happening? And there's here? parts of it. We'll get into the spoilers. There's parts of it that I really appreciated in the writing, where the kinds of things that happen from an a, an, an antagonistic point of view towards your protagonist. Mm -hmm. I'm trying to not give spoilers away. Yeah, they're much they're much smaller than being big things. And that's what makes them all the more hurtful. Sometimes in storytelling, it's far more hurtful to hear a side remark overheard than it is to have somebody, you know, slap you and do a huge event kind of thing. And this is loaded with so many beautiful small things that if you're paying attention, the smallest of things make the biggest of impressions in this film. And like I said, I was... Yeah, like 12 fail I was crying at the end of this movie so anyways if you haven't seen it please go watch it it's on Amazon yes just go watch it watch it don't look up anything about it no if you are into and it's not even two hours guys no yeah if you're into cinema Ugh. if you're into story driven content driven cinema and great acting great writing please watch it please watch it please. if you're if you if like there's nothing wrong if you don't like that style of film if you just like you know wars or that's it that's fine um maybe this is not your cup of tea but if you do like this style Please go watch it. Don't look up anything about it. Just go in blind. I think that's your your best uh, Agreed. possibly. Agreed. Anyway, so we're going to get into spoilers. Spoilers Please now. Go. Don't look. Uh, yeah, we, we should have one for – we need we a button for spoiler yeah, time. Do, uh, I, can't, I, can't, I don't think I can do it while I'm recording. What about the uh? – <laughs> Oh, no, I can. Here. What do you want to do for spoilers? Ready? One, two, three. Get spoiled, bitch. Get spoiled, bitch. <laughs> it's first thing that came to mind. Okay. Get spoiled, bitch. <laughs> you like That's it? Our spoiler button. All right. For now. For now. For now. Anyways, uh, go away. Go away. Go yeah, away. Go, go away, away and watch yeah, the movie. Yeah, 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 yeah. Spoilers. Not for those of you who've seen it. <laughs> Remember when he died? Yeah. Uh, yeah. We really didn't like it. We just wanted to say that at the front. Yeah, for we were views. Getting... Mamoudi paid us, you know. <laughs> if he paid us and he'd come on the channel, I'm offended. Really? <laughs> Anyways, um, yeah, there's so much about this movie that was so brilliant. Obviously, the performances of Mamoudi and um, uh, I can't say that name. It's yeah, Giotica. Giotica. Beautiful name, by the way. Um, it having, could be Giotica. I want to pronounce it having right. Having a J and a Y right next to each other yeah. confuses my brain. Um, I'm loving Mamoudi's choices, man. 
I know, I know he's always been, like been that way. Like he's always been about acting and stuff. And we still that I'm, compilation video we saw. Yeah, yeah. And I want to see he's so much more of his stuff because um, he seems to really just care about. Uh, and I know he's done big films too, but um, he seems to really care, especially now, just at least this year, about content uh, driven films. I'm loving that. There were so many scenes between these two that mm. was so heartbreaking it's and so, so believable and so beautiful. Oh. Like I loved their. Once you actually figured out what exactly and what I, was going on, I love that that you didn't no, really know. You're like, okay, they're amicable, right? But they're getting a divorce, but they seem to be on good term. Is and it I, a real and, accusation? Yeah, I was in the beginning. I was like, okay, I th think they're alluding to that he's gay, right? Um, what happened? But d is it true? Yeah, like, and then obviously when everything came out, and but I. I love because like if, if this was a Hollywood film, I feel like it wouldn't be as calm as it is. Like you know, like if it felt like a very calm film, like there would be some like explosions, accusatory of why did you do this to me? I think it depends uh, on who was helming it. It yeah. would depend on who's directing it. Um, obviously, because he did something awful to her, and then she stayed. But you in this, you have to understand why she stayed. She stayed because if I if <sighs> I outed you before, you would have gone to jail. <laughs> and I was like, "Oh shit, that's that's true," uh, because of obviously they, they it, was said it was criminalized. Criminalized, uh, and so she stayed for because she cares about him. Twenty years in a in a relationship, she knew that she would never get what she needed from the relationship. That's oh, it's a, that's such a complex issue and story. It is, and he 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 has the he has he's a thespian through and through. No, he great. is just. He chooses stories of deep human interest. He chooses stories that are, um, he's such a good, this is the highest compliment you can give to actors when you compliment how good of a listener they are. And a lot of directors don't know how to do that. A lot of directors, not all, but some, they, they, they focus, they don't focus a lot on watching actors think and watching them respond and you forget with great actors that they've got these scripts memorized and they know exactly what's coming they next. They should. And, and they, they they're, but they're listening as if they're hearing for the, he's as good as it gets in hearing something for the first time, speaking something that gets off. It's very, very different. But I, I mean, the best of the best is Irfan. Yeah, of course. And, there's a level of that that Mamoudi has yeah, of, yeah, of, of the listening and the responding. The two of them together, the dad, uh, just it was it's a testament to Geo Baby's direction because that atmosphere is a direct result of the casting process, which the director has the final decision in. And then the collaborative nature of what's working and what's not working on set and giving the atmosphere for everybody the whole time. That. The the dad one who did a great job. Great uh, I don't job. Know, uh, do you remember his name? Uh, the character. No, I just name. remember him as dad. Yeah, he's, he doesn't have a picture here. Wait, uh, Matthew would be his last name. No, would Matthew be his last name? I don't remember. Uh, his. Last I would name. think it's Devacy because it's they're they're related, but I don't. I just uh, don't, I don't know. know. It doesn't show on IMDb. Anyways, but he did a great job, the father. But that whole great thing job. that they just unweaved because at, at first you're like, okay, they're not talking. And then you're like, okay, he's gay. You figured that out. And, you're like, and that's oh, why they're that's not talking. Why they're not talking because right. he's he's upset that his son would ever. And then in the court scene, I like almost audibly gasped. I was like, oh shit! Yeah, <laughs> you did what? <laughs> and so he like when you figure once you should not be here. You shouldn't you be here if you haven't seen the film. Uh, when you figured out that he was the one that he knew he his knew. son was gay. He it's knew. He, he said, "I'm his boy. father from a child. I knew he was gay." I thought I was doing best for him by getting him married. Right. <laughs> and then to ha now have this guilt of, well, not only doing that to your son, knowing he is a gay man, but then to this woman that you made him marry, you've grown to love her. And now you've destroyed her life. Not, I mean, in, in a way. In a way. For 20 years. Yeah, in a, in a very you've real taken way. taken her youth. And obviously, in in certain parts of India, obviously, what it means to be a, a widow, uh, not a widow, uh, a divorcee, or yeah. uh, as a woman and stuff like that. So, like, there's so 
such different complicated <laughs> things going on and he just unweaved it for you like it was an onion yes it was, absolutely. Beautiful. It was a slow unweaving and it was so believable and there's three moments for me that brought me to tears the first moment that brought me to tears is the conversation that he they're having on the bed. Oh, the, the husband, yeah, the, yeah. The, 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 the real the 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 come to Jesus conversation between the two of them, and, where he's admitting and she's you know there and, and then she said and she says sleep in the bed with me. Yeah, would you sleep in the bed with me? Oh, I, that killed me. <laughs> I'm getting emotional thinking about that line. Yeah, and then when Dad, the, it was the, I was so invested when Dad stands up. And the way it's shot is Geo Baby's brilliance. Dad stands up, and I said out loud while I'm watching it, I said, go to him. Don't leave. Please don't leave. Because I was expecting him to walk away. Mm -hmm. And he walks over to him and puts his hand on his shoulder. Mamoudi melts. And then Mamoudi melts. Yeah. I, I melted with Mamoudi. I was yeah. bawling. I, I was just, there were tears streaming down my face. And yeah. I actually, was, I started clapping because the dad came to his son. It was a phenomenal scene. Very Beautiful. organic, not over Beautiful. the top, nothing like that. And then the fact that you, you pan over and then she's heard this entire thing. <sighs> Beautiful. Just uh, a slow, nice reveal. The fact that she heard the whole conversation. You said it was three times, that was two times. Um, was there... The very, the very end. You know what else was a really beautiful moment where they don't give a lot away, but then in the end you think back upon it and you know what your gut felt when you saw it was when his his lover mm -hmm. was in the car mm -hmm. and looked at the photo of him mm -hmm. and was just looking at it. Apart, you're inside. You're thinking he's looking at that because he loves him. Yep. Yeah, and the and they didn't they didn't actually go too into the lover. Which is why I'm like, I don't even know if you could classify this as like an LGBTQ film. This is just a story that happens to involve, obviously, a a, um, a closeted gay man. Um, I, I personally would categorize it without question but in that category. Because like, like at the end, you can allude that they went together, but you don't know. For you don't sure. know. I mean, they did have the rainbow. <laughs> and that's was. good because that wouldn't be believable. <laughs> They did have the no. They had the rainbow. No, no, no. I mean, if they had done something oh, yeah, where they're yeah. all, you know, they're holding hands and walking together, and people are celebrating, that that that's not a realistic. It was a very sad scene at the end when he when they were sitting at the table, and you're like, oh, what's going on? And my wife is like, are they going on a double date? <laughs> uh, and then it was even more sad. I mean, it was good, but it was sad because man sat down, and you're like, oh, he, and then he just left, and she watched him the entire time. It's such a beautiful story. It and is tragic. It's a beautiful tragic it's story. It's a beautiful tragic because story. It's beautiful because you know these people actually do love each other in terms of as humans. Right. They've been together for 20 years. They're not Ugh. they don't hate each other, but it's an awful thing that happened to all of them. Which, and it was a bunch of people's faults. Yeah. Uh the dads, Mamoudis, um Yeah. And and all that kind but of stuff. But their faults are all driven by a the real human attribute of I thought I was doing the right thing at the time that was best for everybody else. Yeah. The dad wasn't doing it out of this belligerence. He was doing it at the time and looking back upon it because hindsight's 20. All of them had this hindsight thing. Mamoudi didn't want to hurt her. He loves her. Yeah. She and divorcing him didn't want to hurt him. Yep. The dad didn't want to hurt his son when he made him marry the daughter. He thought he was doing the right thing. Yeah. And that is often what happens in so many circumstances where you look back on it and say, man, I wish I would have fill in the blank. Mm -hmm. And that, yeah, the killer moment for me are those two. The, oh, yeah. Her a... saying, would you please sleep with me tonight? Oh, yeah. That was, oh. She did such a great job. She Beautiful. Was, I don't. Um, so did the so did the, the attorneys. Yeah. She and the judge. She would have been easily up there for actress. Yeah. If not, won it in the dummies. Yep. Um, and we would I, have had supporting actor. I know you guys were screaming for this and um, 12th Fail, and there's another one as well. But they just came out so late, and it kind of needed to do the, the dummies. I'm glad we got to it. Um, but, man, was it a great film. Uh, would have easily been in my top five favorites. And this uh, should have been in the conversation for India's submissions. If it had qualifications for on, it, it, it should have been in the conversation. Okay, so it released November 23rd. When was the cutoff for... Oscars. I believe it I think was... that it, I think it's October. If not, or early November. So if it's after that, it does not qualify for that Oscar. So it qualifies for next Oscar. Will India send it though? That is a different question. 
international Oscar. Um, there it is. This may take me a moment. Okay. Well, that was in 2022. See, the deadline for international films was October 3rd yeah. last year. And so it'd be around that time. A special rules for the international feature film. Eligibility. Uh, that's 2022. See, see, um, the country, it must first be released in the country of origin no earlier than the 1st of January and no later than November 30th. But then you couldn't have submitted it, though. Yeah, you can. No. You can still submit the film. You can submit the film. See, if, there's a if, difference if, between if, the submission deadline and the qualification deadline. The submission deadline is in October. Yeah, so you have to say, this is the film we're doing. Right. So if the but film, the fi ha the film the hasn't released yet. That doesn't matter. As long as the film, because they're not going to give the nominations until February. So you get the submission in. Because the film should, if the film has dis distribution in November... You have a film to submit to the Academy in October. Not always, though. You should. If you don't, then oh, we then know you, last minute they they do. Changes. I understand, but that and that may be what happened. But the submission deadline was in October. Qualification deadline is you have to have had a theatrical release between January first and November thirtieth in order to qualify. I think it's just to be able to qualify for next year. Yeah. Um, regardless, if it was the past year, you really screwed the pooch with uh, three films that would have yeah. had a shot. And well, while sadly, sending, while sending another Malayalam film, which was fine, <laughs> I guess, but not anywhere near a submission thing ever. It should have never been anywhere near the Oscar submission. Sorry if you it doesn't loved even remotely come close. And anybody who thinks it does has a bias, and it's not looking at it just even on artistic merit. Even if you just merit. wanted to send a Malayalam film, which I'm fine with, the two there's two uh, there's three films I would have sent. Two of them would be Malayalam. None of them would have been 2018. Well, and, and it's, it also takes you a couple steps back because if I'm in the Academy and I'm not really familiar with Indian cinema and all I get to see is what you submit to us for consideration and I see that film, it's going to hurt your chances for your next submission because yeah. I'm going to remember what you submitted and think to myself, don't you understand the quality of cinema we're looking for internationally? Yeah. It's very, very frustrating. I, I don't understand their, submit, <clears throat> their Oscar people. They've made dumb decisions for a long time. Yeah. Uh, anyways, uh, that's the review. Loved there you go. Uh, phenomenal film. Phenomenal. Uh, would have changed the dummies, obviously. Yeah, five out of five stars. Nope. Yeah. Let us know Fantastic. what you thought about the film. What should be our next to Mamundi? And, um, uh, uh, yes, who played Omana. What's her name? Uh, Giotica, if I'm Giotica. pronouncing that correctly. Uh, and Geo Baby as well. Uh, what should be our next Malayalam film we should watch? And Mamudi, Mamudi, Mamudi. Let us know down below.